Really, until my grandfather's death, he was just, to me, grandpapa. I didn't realise what an extraordinary great man he was and how he was so revered. He was such a lion of a man that he didn't give up his grip on life easily. Some people might have taken 10 hours to pass away. He took 10 days. Long over Westminster will linger the spirit of Winston Churchill. I was 14. I didn't know an awful lot of people who had died, actually, so I didn't know really what to expect. When his body was taken to uh, Westminster Hall and he lay in state for three days in this freezing cold, huge hall, the muffled sound as this never-ending stream of people walked by. This winter morning, the chimes of Big Ben announced the beginning of the state funeral. And everything seemed to happen in slow motion. And I remember the constant thud of a muffled drum and the sound of the soldiers' boots on the pavements. In these emotional moments, members of the great man's family stand watching as the bearer party, with reverent care, approached St Paul's. As we went up the steps to St Paul's Cathedral and through these great doors, we went to our seats and we walked all the way up this incredibly long aisle. And as one sort of dared to look up, if you like, there were all the heads of state and kings and queens, all sitting there. I think it was the second hymn, Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. And as we sung that, a single shaft of sunlight came through the high windows of the cathedral and went zip onto the coffin. I mean, it was just extraordinary. Absolutely made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. We went from St Paul's Cathedral to the river. Suddenly, the cranes on either side of the river uh, went down half-mast. It was a completely spontaneous gesture, but it was one of immense dignity. In a sense, Grandpapa, at the beginning of the day, belonged to the nation. And in a sense, when we got on the train, he was given back to the family and became a grandfather and a father and a husband. As we chugged through the um, countryside, at nearly every gateway, there were little groups of families and farmers holding their cap on their chest. It went on all the way up till we got to Blenheim. Grandpapa was lowered into his grave. It was a very difficult moment, I think, for all of us, particularly my grandmother.